Hey, what's up everybody? The portable AC in my son's room is making a buzzing noise and no longer cools. In this video, I'll show you how I fix this problem and include some tips at the end of the video. There are about nine Phillips head screws visible in the back of the AC and you have screws on the sides for a total of 11 screws. The holes are deep so I use my ratcheting screwdriver and the long bit. After you remove the screws, you need to remove the condensation drain caps. There's one here and another here. Once you remove the caps and the screws, carefully wiggle the back panel off. The GFCI plug needs to come out through this hole right here. To remove the front, I had to pry the lower sides away from the unit and then wiggle the front away from the unit. But don't completely remove the front just yet. There's a ribbon cable at the top that you have to detach. Press the tab down and then using the grip points on the sides you can pull the cables apart. Oh man, this condenser coil is dirty. Sometimes if it's super dirty then it won't turn on the compressor. I use my shop vac to clean it up a bit. The compressor still isn't turning on, so let's check the capacitor. Here's the electrical panel. I removed one screw from each side to remove the front plate. Here is the capacitor. UF means microfarads, VAC means volts, so 30 microfarads and 300 volts. Before removing the connectors, I took a photo to remember their order. Be careful because the capacitor can be charged and it will shock you if you touch the top metal pins on the capacitor. I used some needle nose type pliers to remove one connector. Then I used my screwdriver and touched these two bare metal pins together with the tip of my screwdriver to release any charge that the capacitor may have. After you do that, now it's safe to touch. And now you can remove the rest of the wires. Here is my capacitor tester. It cost me less than $20 on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. I set it to 200 UF. We are looking for a measurement of 30 plus or minus 5%, which is a range of about 28 to 32 microfarads. I got my leads connected. 3.8 microfarads. We need to replace this capacitor. I found a new one on Amazon for under $10. 30 microfarads, 370 volts, that should work. It arrived two days later. It's a little taller than the original capacitor, but it's the same diameter. I got my wires on and mounted it back on. It took a couple of minutes for the new capacitor to charge, but the AC is blowing cold air again. You can hear the compressor running. We are done. Now we just gotta put everything back together and move on. When you disconnect the wires, don't pull from the cable part. Pull and wiggle them out from the metal spade bit connector. When you are putting the cover of the electrical panel back on, make sure you don't pinch any wires. Some screws are smaller than others, so take note of any difference in screw sizes so you can put the screws back where they belong. It's a good idea to clean the top and bottom coils inside your portable air conditioner about once a year. I'll add a link to a cleaner that I have used in the video description. Sometimes when capacitors go bad, they swell, and you'll see the top part puff out. But don't rely on this to the check capacitors because, as you can see in this video, my bad capacitor was not swollen. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments section, check the video description for more information, and I'll see you in the next one.